It is actually silly o'clock in the morning at the time of recording, but it is Sunday the 12th of June 2022. I hope you're enjoying or will have a peaceful Sunday. Now, how dams are normally built is through hard labour, concrete, dust, a lot of work, dangerous work. But first of all, you can see what it's like when the Free Gorges Dam was being built from the start of 1994 all the way to 2006, for example. China's obsession with dams, with over 90,000 of them, big and small, some aging, some at a critical dangerous state, are building another one in the Tibetan Plateau, but this time using AI, artificial intelligence, and the whole dam, they say supposedly, is being made by a huge 3D printer. What are your thoughts on this? Have a look at this video related to this new dam that they want to build or have already started to build without a human labour force, all done by AI and again 3D printing.
big rivers. Of course, we have the third longest in the world, the Yangtze, starting in the Tibetan Plateau. We have the Yellow River, starting in the same place. The Tibetan Plateau is huge. We have the Mekong, which supplies water not only to China, but to Burma, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam, and Laos, I think, as well. And you have the Pearl River, which are the four main rivers, all starting near enough, I do believe, from the Tibetan Plateau. As we said before on this channel, you control the water, you control the country. The thing is, dams control water. China has how many dams on the Yangtze? Maybe 13. I don't know how many on the Yellow. And there is a bucket load of dams along the Mekong, not only in China, but also in Burma, Laos, Thailand, here. And I don't think there are any in Vietnam. It is all food for thought and something I just wanted to share with you today. Thank you for your time. My name is James. Have a awesome, awesome Sunday. Bye-bye. Don't forget that like, don't forget that share, and don't forget to subscribe and check that resubscription. I hope you enjoyed this little show this morning. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.